A national death investigation making major headlines may have ties right here in central Illinois. 45-year-old Neil Falls was killed earlier this month in Charleston, West Virginia by an escort who says that it was self-defense. Now as police dig into Falls' past, they say he may have been responsible for the deaths and disappearances of several other women across the country. News Channel 20's Michelle London here now with one local community's tie. Michelle? Well, it's been 10 years since the remains of 21-year-old Lindsay Harris were found near the town of Divernon. Now a recent murder in the national spotlight has led Illinois State Police to reopen that investigation. May of 2005, the remains of 21-year-old Lindsay Harris are found in Divernon, Illinois. A friend and I were riding four-wheelers and we ran into, we stumbled up upon a, a severed leg. Uh, we weren't sure at first what it was, then uh, sure enough we were able to confirm it was a leg and uh, we called the police and they rode out of there as fast as we could. The killer was never found. Now, 10 years later, a shooting in West Virginia could offer new leads. There's a lady in the uh, alley here. She's saying that uh, some guy tried to rape her and she had to send herself. I opened the door. He said, never talk. He pulled it to me and I wrestled him. And this is a 911 recording released of a woman police are calling Heather just moments after she shot and killed 45 year old Neil Falls. Heather, who works as an escort, says she and Falls met on a website called escort.com. Heather says moments after seeing Falls in person, he became violent and tried to choke her. He just wouldn't let me get any air, and when he laid the gun down to get the rake out of my hands, I I shot him. Charleston police say while searching through Fall's car, they found suspicious tools, what they're calling a death kit. All those things together uh, lead us to believe that Mr. Falls has been involved in similar crimes. Police believe it wasn't the first time he'd attacked or tried to kill a woman. They also found a list of 10 other women's names in his pocket, all escorts and from across the country. It's the nature of the cases that lead them to believe Harris may have been one of Fall's victims. The state police are working with the authorities in West Virginia and the FBI to determine if there is a connection um, with their case uh, and ours. State's attorney John Milheiser hopes the latest case will bring answers that have been missing for the past 10 years. Hopefully there is uh, and it can put some closure and some answers to the family of Lindsay Harris. Investigators say Harris wasn't the only victim Falls dismembered. They're still looking into an exact number. Investigators also say Falls did not have a criminal history. Adam.